Hey guys, what is up? So uh, this is going to be a video on my uh, deck profile for the Salmon Great Math deck, the Salad with Math. Um, if you don't understand why I call it Salad, Salmon Great, Salad, uh, it's just a play on the name. I didn't come up with that. That's what the community seems to have called it. So uh, every time I went to locals, it was like, oh, you're playing the spicy chicken salad. I was like, yes, I'm playing the spicy chicken salad. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know how I can improve on this deck and uh, hopefully... Hopefully there's some fun stuff in there. Hopefully there's some stuff you guys can get out of it. Um, hopefully there's something I can get out of it. And uh, let's go ahead and get it, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and start. All right, let's get right into it. So uh, this is my um, Salad with Math deck. Um, math Mech sal Salmon Grates. Uh, very small Salmon Grate package. Uh, even smaller Math Mech package. But uh, it does appear to be working. On Master Duel anyway. I don't know uh, if you wanted to take this to a locals if it would work. I mean, we don't have Max C outside of Master Duel and uh, called by is at one. Um, I, I will explain certain things and like why I'm playing certain cards, but uh, for the most part, we'll go ahead and get into it. So, uh, any good deck in Master Duel, because this is for Master Duel, is going to play Max C. Um, some people were saying two, some people were saying three, a lot of people say three, more people say three than two. Uh, but I've been hearing things about uh, running doubles of certain hand traps and certain board breakers. Uh, I like that, that ideology um, a little bit. I just, I don't really know if I want to put it into practice myself of uh, running like doubles because the 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 idea is that you don't know what you're going to run into on master duel and it's a one-on-one -on -one where there's no side option sideboard so i guess i could see running two ofs would be better because you run into it you'd see it and it would help and it would also make room for maybe some other things i think if i were going to play anything at a two of It'd be two Ash, two Lightning Storms, maybe two Nibs, two Nibirus. Um, I don't really know, though. But for now, I'm playing the three Maxis. Um, Maxi Challenge is too strong. Uh, you play it, people scoop, or they play until you beat them. So, whatever. Uh, Ash, Ash for a lot of reasons, uh, other than it's Ash. Um, some people will argue that it's not very strong. Uh, this format... But it is a fire target. So, I mean, for what it's worth, you can add it back with um, your Sunlight Wolf. It's always going to be a free, just a plus. So, uh, I chose to play three Flame Buffalo um, for the Cyber's name, one. And uh, it's also level three. It can help me get into my uh, horse. But at that, even if I don't, I have the Gazelles to do that as well. But uh, basically, for those who don't know or aren't familiar with the Flame Buffer Low plays, um, you basically summon it, link it off, draw two cards. You can disc uh, discard one Cyber's monster, of course, which has a lot of synergy with the Math Mech monsters that want to be in the grave and the Salma Great names. Um, we have Gazelle at three, so we're going to play Gazelle at three. It's just it's an extender. It's a play starter. Um, it, it is the be-all, end-all for uh, this deck, honestly. Like... Uh, Salmagrates can't function without a gazelle for a long time. They functioned with one, and when they had none, it, it wasn't very good. Um, we're playing two Jack Jaguars. I chose to play two Jack Jaguars instead of three or instead of Foul and instead of Falco. Because Falco plays were usually for the setup of um, trying to stall out, trying to uh, set up for next turn. Uh, with this, you're trying to push for the... Um, <clears throat> prime math mech prime prime math prime math mech i don't know how to say it the the prime math mech ones uh because it's level four you can summon it to a zone that i'll link monster points to by uh bouncing back a summon great name it's just a really good card really good extender uh i play one each of the sigma the nabla neb 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 nabla <laughs> addition and subtraction and then the one diameter uh, I play one each for specific reasons. I chose these ones because I figured these ones were, I mean, better than the other ones. But that's neither here nor there. You can honestly play whatever you want to play. You can 
uh, get rid of one of these and probably play another one of these, another one of these, or another one of these. I've seen a lot of people play three diameter and uh, three of the circular. Forgot to mention circular, but uh, he's kind of different. Um, but anyway, when this one's in the graveyard and you control no monsters in your extra monster zone, you can special summon him. Good starter. Um, not really an extender, but it is what it is. Uh, Nabla, uh, contribute a Cybers monster, contribute off your flame buffer love to proc the effect, and then um, just go off from there, get your draws, and get everything going. Um, addition, very basic plays for a long time, Salmon Greats uh, would run this card. Um, very good extender, uh, add a thousand to the monster, but I believe only that monster can attack this turn. Oh, it can't attack this turn, oh, excuse me. Uh, and then subtraction, uh, get rid of a thousand from that monster that you choose to some special summon these two. Um, this one is when it's special summoned, you can special summon a level four Cyrus monster for the diameter. Uh, very good card, very good extender as well, uh, especially comboed with circular. Circular is basically just the one that made everything crazy, does a lot of things for the deck. Um, it can send one math mech monster, except another circular from the deck to the graveyard which opens up a lot of plays already. And then you can special summon it from your hand, and uh, you can only attack with one monster for the rest of the turn, but that's okay, because um, access code talker is game anyway with this deck. Uh, it has another effect. If a math mech monster is normal or special summoned to the field while this car, while you control this monster, you can add a math mech spell or trap from your hand, from your deck to your hand. Uh, so personally, I'd add the... Um, equation to further uh combo off but um there's ways to get to the super factorial um but we'll talk about that when we get there uh, we're playing three parallel Z's. you can play two uh cut down on the parallel Z's, but I, I like playing three because uh late game especially with this deck which a lot of people will say there is no late game with math mech because it wants to go second it wants to otk but um, I, I really see that as like a, a secondary win option, like a second win con. I think the primary win con is that you want to you wanna pick your opponent's boards apart and break boards and do stuff like that. But the Parallel Xyz is really good for those who aren't familiar with it. Um, you can special summon it to a zone that a Link Monster points to. You can special summon it, it becomes level 4, loses uh, a 1000 attack, and then... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, you can special summon another one from the deck, level 4. So it's instant um, plus 1, honestly. Uh, I don't really see it being a bad card or why you shouldn't play it. Um, pretty useful uh, as far as I'm concerned, especially with all the level 4s that we play. Um, but that is what it is, honestly. Uh, you have to play the 3 sign at Minings. Uh, mining is just... It's nuts in this deck. I mean, it's nuts in any Cybers deck. But uh, I do believe that playing three is the best option. We play the one equation because it's an extender. You can just uh, Monster Reborn a Math Mech Monster. Uh, especially with all the graveyard shenanigans that we have going on right now with the uh, monsters anyway. It doesn't really matter. So uh, that that's really good. Uh, as far as board breakers go, we play the uh, three Lightning Storms. Um... I chose Lightning Storm because I, I run into a lot of stall decks. There's a lot of stuff going on in Master Duel where uh, everything's just playing stall or uh, what's that? Uh, Labyrinth and Runic are still a thing in Master Duel for whatever reason. I haven't really tested. We got we got the the updated ban list and then I think we had a ban list not too long ago for this one too. Uh, a little out of the, the format right now, a little bit out of it, but I mean it's whatever. I'm getting back into it, so we'll see about that. Um, the one Salmon Great Sanctuary to uh, proc off your uh, reincarnations of the wolf. Sunlight Wolf, I was going to say Sunlight Foxy, but that's not true. <laughs> um, I play the two called by because why not? We have it at two. We should play it at two. It's just nuts in this deck, especially in Master Duel. Uh, I'm choosing to play three Imperms, the one Super Factorial, and then for a little bit of extra hate, the one si uh, Solving Great War Arc. Um, there's just a lot of nutty boards you can make, especially with these two cards because of how searchable they are and how um, interchangeable they are with uh, what the deck has. 
Um, Super Factorial itself becomes a disruption with the combo of uh, summoning the... I can't say their names, but uh, the one that adds it and then the one that can proc off three effects just by <laughs> just by having it summoned. So there is that. And then this is just an Omni Negate as long as you control a Samagrate Link Monster. Um, it's also very recyclable. Uh, very good, very good card. So that's the main deck. So the extra deck. I'm playing this for jokes. Uh, you can honestly play whatever you want in this one slot in particular. I just decided that, hey, like I smoke them if you got them kind of thing uh I, I had one copy of it lying around and i was like i'm gonna go ahead and play it um it basically can't be affected by card effects other than mathematic cards when it's in the uh, extra monster zone uh and all damage that it inflicts is uh t doubled especially with the combo of uh, some of these other mathematic monsters it can be really disgusting and go for some pretty nasty plays especially if you just summon it the only thing that can really get rid of it is a kaiju so uh, I mean, there's other ways to get rid of it, but, well, it's neither here nor there. Um, Horse Mirage Stalio. Uh, I, me and my friends have a joke that this is Horseman Stalio, um, but whatever. Uh, Summon Great uh, Mirage Stalio. Uh, very good card, very good extender. Uh, rank 3, so it kind of doesn't really mesh well with the deck of the um, uh, rank 4 perspective of things. But uh, it is still good. You summon it with the Flame Buffalo and the... Uh, Gazelle, or two Gazelles, two Flame Buffaloes, however you want to do it. You can even summon it with an Ash. Uh, and um, you can go ahead and summon off your uh, Jack Jaguar and get it live for more nutty plays. As I was explaining with the Super Factorial, one of these guys... Oh, this one right here. So this one has three effects. You can proc off all three effects uh, if you summon it. Um, it's just really nutty. And then if a Mathematic card would be destroyed, you can detach a Material from it instead. Uh, it, it's just a super ugly disruption on your opponent's turn when you combo it with Super Factorial whenever they're mid-combo. Uh, the way you search Super Factorial, other than with, uh, Diameter or Circular or anything, uh, is you go ahead and use this one right here. So, Tribunal Monster, you can Special Summon one Mathematic Monster from your hand or graveyard. And then when he's, um, summoned, anyway, you can add a Mathematic card from your deck to your hand. So that's pretty good. Uh, you usually don't ever summon him with all four, but if you do, you can just add a spell or trap from your deck, summon him with three, add uh, the add the level four monster. So there's that. For our salmon great monsters, we're playing two Baylinx. Baylinx is a combo starter. Uh, it, it basically is a starter. You summon it, and then it protects all your salmon great monsters, and then you can add the uh, salmon great sanctuary with it. Um, I'm playing the one update jammer. Uh, it's for OTK purposes. This comboed with this, with this, or this makes access code talker, and it can attack twice. It gets all of its effects off. Can't be destroyed. Really disgusting things with this. Uh, I'm playing the two um, sunlight wolves. Sunlight wolf is a very good card for uh, extending. It's also good for setting up. You can. Add back a Salmon Great spell, which primarily what we're going to be doing is dumping the uh, Roar with the Gazelle and then adding it back with the Reincarnated uh, Sunlight Wolf. So basically, uh, its first effect is when a monster is summoned to a zone that it points to. You can add back a Fire Monster that includes Ash. Be aware of that. Um, if you Reincarnation summon it, you can just activate his effect and you can go ahead and uh, get the Salmon Great Roar, uh, which is what you're primarily going to be fishing for. Uh, we play IP for some nutty things with uh, Mech Knight, uh, Crusadia, Avermax, and uh, some nutty things with Access Code Talker. Just a really good uh, Link 2, especially in this deck, I will say. Uh, Splash Mage, just an extender to further combo off, just in case you don't have the actual plays to go off with uh, your Access Code Talker for the, for the game. Uh, Trans Code Talker to summon back um, Splash Mage or summon back update jammer or even sunlight wolf uh and then go into access code talker or Avermax. well yeah uh i play heat soul for the draw aspect of things uh that that's it just for the draw aspect of things i don't really use this other effect to uh summon a link three or lower cybers monster from the extra deck um it's there use it how you will but Drawing that one card is so clutch. 
and then drawing it on your opponent's standby phase is clutch. Our two boss monsters are Avermax for when we have to set up for a defensive play, and then when we're going for the OTK, we have the uh, access code Talker. So, guys, um, let me know what you guys think. This is the deck that I'm going into uh, Master Duel with right now. This is version 1. Uh, it will change. I will do updates um not too many and if i do do updates it'll probably be on tiktok they'll probably be a lot quicker maybe a minute to three minutes but um i hope you guys like it i hope you guys like the deck um give me some tips here for the math mech portion of things i'm playing suboptimally i will say uh with math mech i i i kind of shied away from the salmon great things because I, i've always played salmon greats uh, since they've come out i've loved them i, I love uh love everything about them they're just really good but i've always liked mathematics too and then when we got uh circular it just kind of opened up things for them so anyway guys um thank you and uh, like comment and subscribe uh, and let me know what else you guys want to see thank you